Hello, in this video we're going to go over the operation of our motor driver here at 3D Potter as well as some of the motor settings such as the motor switches. So, uh, when you have your motor driver you can go ahead and power it on and that is just with one of our normal power supplies. So there's power going to the motor driver and power going to the motor. And so, when one's powered on uh, this might just be a default value, so if you hit run, you can actually see the speed we have programmed uh, for the motor. And so these are like the amount of pulses. So we're at 318 here, and we can go ahead and use this little control knob to increase the speed. As you can see, this is now spinning much faster. And you can go ahead and stop it, and when you push down on the dial, that saves the speed. So the next time you restart your motor controller and motor and hit run, it remembers it and goes back to the value you had it set to. There's also a forward and reverse here and it also saves a different value for the reverse speed as well. So you can go in both directions here. And for this number, uh, these are the amount of pulses, but our little closed loop uh, stepper motors here they have a chart on them that shows, let me try and get a good focus on here. There we go. Of what the values are. So normal stepper motors uh, have a frequency of three and four on, which is 3,200, I believe. Yes, that's 3,200. So you see switch one, two, three, four, and uh, 3,200, one and two are off, and three and four are on. So for our printers that we use, we have uh, all of our motors set to this uh, frequency, which is the uh, pulses required for one revolution. So uh, if you'd like to really, really increase your motor speed, you can do so. So let's actually go in reverse here so you can see how fast this motor is going on 200. So that's the speed. I'm gonna actually flip uh, uh, one and two up on here and you have to restart the motor for that procedure. This is gonna spin very fast now. So even though we're still only outputting uh, 200 pulses here, because we've changed the, the motor switches, we've greatly, greatly increased the speed of the motor. So let's go ahead and change that back. There we go. And as a, a note here, uh, I'm gonna quickly go over the wiring for this motor. So on the diagram here, uh, even on the control board, it's, there's even some diagrams down in the control board, but we have positive and negative in, and if you get a zoom in there, you can see it says 12, 24 volts in, and then we have a positive five volt signal, and then we have a negative pull and direction signal. And so when we go to our motor, as you can see, we have pull and direction signals there. So the positive five volt signal is this uh, green wire that's splitting three to one, and that's gonna be going to the pull direction and enable positive. And then we have the pull negative and the direction negative, which is the red and blue wire. And that is going to the red and blue wire for pull and direction negative. So if you have your own motor driver, you can use your own motor driver as well. This is just our basic operation as well as covering the motor switches and things like that shows you how to use this.